Can Coca-Cola restore rusty weights? There was a guy on one of my other videos where I restored some rusty weights with vinegar called Mr. Bench Press, and he said that you can restore rusty weights with Coca-Cola. So I spent $5.50 on all these drinks, and I got some Coke, which is Coke Zero. I don't know if regular Coke has is, is got to be the way, but I think that if it doesn't have sugar in it, it's going to work no matter what. While I was at it, I decided to get some Pepsi and some Sprite too, just to see if they were going to do anything. And because I don't think that it's probably a very cost effective method, like you can't, you probably just can't buy as, as much Coke as you can vinegar for the price. Uh, I decided only to, only to use these little weights here and not to use huge tubs and, and uh, drench them with Coke. So I cleaned out these pots about as good as I can. This is a plastic pot. This is a porcelain pot here. And this is a glass pot that I'm going to use for the Sprite because I think that if there's a reaction with Sprite, it would look, look pretty cool in a glass pot. So here I've got a five pound rusty weight. Check it out. It is rusty. My fingers are turning orange all around the side and the back's pretty crappy as well. I'm going to throw that thing inside here. Okay, for the Coke, two and a half pound plate is what I'm going to be using for the uh, Coke put it in there softly and then this one very orange this is a two and a half pound plate that I'm going to be using for the Sprite I gotta put it in very carefully it would suck if this thing broke okay good all right first for the coke now I'm planning to let this sit for a few days, maybe maybe about two days, just to see what it does. So I'm not a big Coke drinker. Whoa! Well, I really, I really want to fill it up, but I guess I don't need to. <laughs> maybe I didn't need this much Coke. Okay. Well, that's showing. Let's do the Sprite. I don't know if this is a reaction or if this is just normal. Let's see if I got it all the way. Well, it's bubbling all around it. Uh -huh. It's nice, alright. And I knew that it was going to be hard to see. It's going to be hard to see the Coke, that's why I got some Sprite. It is the Pepsi Challenge! Dump it on in there. It would be hilarious if Pepsi ends up cleaning, cleaning these rusty weights and Coke doesn't do anything. Well, that's Diet Coke. Right. Well, Coke Zero, I guess that's about the same. Ooh. Ah, can't see anything. Oh, good thing I got the Sprite. It looks like you can see bubbles all around the weights with the Sprite. But in Sprite's defense, I guess it's made out of lemon and lime, which is acidic. Not really sure. So, I'm going to put these in the garage for a couple days, and I'll probably check on it in a few hours and show you what it looks like then, see if there's any reaction. And then we'll get back to it. Okay, so I'm about to put this stuff in the garage, but let me show this to you. you see where it's bubbling all around the rust whoa nice one that means that there is a reaction okay this is coke zero I'm not seeing any bubbles well there's a little fizz this is Pepsi you see the bubbles are still popping that also is probably a pretty good sign of a reaction so we'll see which one of these does the best Okay, this is the next morning. Let's see how these guys are doing. It being black, there's not much to see. This is the Pepsi. There's some bubbles in there. I don't know what that means, though. 
And finally, here's the Sprite. And it doesn't look like there's any reaction at all in the Sprite. So... Okay, it's almost been a full three days since I did this. Uh, there's the Pepsi. Got a little bubbling happening there. Here's the Sprite. Looks much more yellow, I think, than before. And finally the Coca-Cola. And there's just a few bubbles here. It's been four days. I've been letting them soak for four days. I haven't really seen a whole lot of reaction. I look inside of here. I did pick it up and move it around. And then suddenly it kind of, if you see in the water, can you see sort of a silver shine in there? That's kind of funny. So here's the Coke. It's Coke Zero, actually. I'm gonna pour it on out. Woo! Out. Here it is. Um, what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wipe it off. I remember when I did this with vinegar, I was able to just wipe, and the rust came right off. Here. Mm, let's see. Well, something's coming off. Let's see. Going around. Well, something is actually coming off, and I've got a got a steel brush with me as well. Let me try to do that and see if, if any of this comes off really fast. Hmm, it does seem to be coming off, doesn't it? I'll do this around here. Well, what do you know? I think it is kind of coming off. Seems like dirt here. Like it down again. Here hmm. it is. Try to get that off. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't see any bubbles form them like I did with the vinegar. Let's try. Hmm. Let's look at this. Not as orange. Maybe it soaked it up. Ate it away. Wow. Well, I think we can say it worked. Doesn't look as orange as it did, so I could probably scrub it up some more and see that stuff that's rubbing off on me is probably probably part of it. Well, let's check out the Pepsi. <laughs> Here's the Pepsi right here. I'm gonna pour this out. I mean, if it works with Coke... Whoa! Oh, crap. Yep. Okay, now you see in the orange on there, right? See orange around here? Whew. Okay, let me wipe it around. And it looks like it's still staying orange. Let me get the steel brush and see what happens. Kind of is working a little bit, isn't it? Huh. Yeah, I think you could say that it worked here too. Doesn't smell like Pepsi either. <laughs> Still smells like a piece of piece of iron. That's kind of scary, isn't it? Imagine what it does to your teeth. Drink this stuff and don't brush your teeth and see what happens. Mm. <laughs> All right. So back of it too. Well, I don't see any orange on the back. Don't remember if there was a whole lot of orange to begin with on the back. Yeah, I I think you can say that it worked on there. Now finally, just for the fun of it, I had the Sprite. And with the Sprite, you see, um, I think the water turns sort of yellowish. Uh, I think Sprite's more clear color, just for the fun of it. Just for the fun of it, let me pour some more in there just to, just to compare. Let 
me let the fizz die down and Don't see what. Don't close it. Drink it. You're gonna drink it. Okay. See what the color is. So the the color is a little bit yellowish. It is a little bit yellowish, but not as yellow as it was when it was in there. Okay. All right. So this one's still looking, still looking orange around. Wipe. Ah, wipe right off. Wipe right off. I don't even need the steel. Yeah, I would say that Sprite works better than Coke. Look at that. Good grief, look at this thing. See how dirty it is on the back? It's really working. Well man, I'd, I'd say if you had a choice between Coke and Sprite, Coke, Pepsi, and Sprite, I think that Sprite's the way to go. Man, I gotta re-soak all this stuff in Sprite, huh? <laughs> Dang. I want to drink it. Mm-hmm. You drink as much as you want. Thanks, Mr. Bench Press. I'm gonna soak all my all my uh, weights in soda instead of vinegar. <laughs> so if I ever see some soda, if you ever see some soda just laying around, and you're like, "Hey, I got some dirty weights, and I also have soda that I don't want to drink all at the same time," it'll work. It actually, did work. Huh. So that's the conclusion. It worked. These, all these sodas actually did, actually did knock it off. It took. This is four days of soaking. Now the the uh, the vinegar video that I did was two days of soaking, and if I had to choose, if I had to redo it again, I'd probably almost definitely do the vinegar instead of <laughs> soaking it in soda. Uh, but but yeah yeah, if you do just have a whole lot of spare soda that you don't need, then I would say that's probably the time to do it if you're going to do it at all. Sweet.